Hi everyone. Welcome to Let's Do English. Hope you're all doing great. If you're new here or haven't yet subscribed, take a moment to click on the subscribe button to be a part of this community. We need your support as we strive to bring you content that can enhance your knowledge. Today's video lesson is about countable and uncountable nouns. With this lesson, we seek to remove some misconceptions around this topic. Let's dive into the lesson. Let's define countable nouns. Countable nouns are nouns that can be easily counted. They have both singular and plural forms. Let's take a look at the countable nouns here in this list. When we talk about a single item, we must add an article. So we can say a cup or we can quantify this to say one cup. In order to turn these nouns into the plural form, all you have to do is add an S at the end of these nouns. So cup becomes cups, chair becomes chairs, book becomes books. However, there are exceptions. The plural of person is people and the plural of country is countries with an IES at the end. Uncountable nouns are nouns that cannot be quantified. They do not have a plural form. Here are some uncountable nouns. The first one on our list is water. It is incorrect to say, I want a water. We can say, I want a bottle of water. Similarly, money and food constitute as uncountable nouns. One could simply say, a stash of money or a plate of food. We can quantify money by being specific. For example, I have $10. One could be specific with food as well. Example would be, can I have a sandwich? Here are a few quantifiers that can be used only with countable nouns. Similarly, we have a separate set of quantifiers for uncountable nouns. Note that these quantifiers cannot be used interchangeably. The first one on our list is much versus many. Much is used with uncountable nouns. Many is used with countable nouns. Here are two sentence examples. Much people like the movie or many people like the movie. The correct answer would be many people like the movie. The plural noun people falls under the category of countable nouns. We can count and say 100 people attended the event. The plural of person is people. The next one on our list would be little versus few. With uncountable nouns, we use little. With countable nouns, we use few. We had little time to finish our lunch. Time is an uncountable noun, so it would be appropriate to use the quantifier little. They had few hours left to submit the report. Hours are countable, hence the quantifier few. Let us talk about the difference between little and a little. Little means hardly any. It is used in a negative sense. There is little food left. This means the quantity is not sufficient. A little would mean some. It is used in a positive sense. The same rule applies to few and a few. Few means hardly any and a few means some. Let's explore less versus fewer. Less is used with uncountable nouns. Countable nouns use fewer. A lot of people make mistakes when using less and fewer. We had less appointments today. This is an incorrect sentence. Appointments is the plural form of appointment. Hence, we cannot use less. However, we can say we had fewer appointments today. Fewer is used when you want to compare. Here we are comparing today's appointments with the past few days appointments. Let's now take a look at the list of quantifiers that can be used with both countable and uncountable nouns. They are some, any, a lot, lots of, enough, plenty of, and no. The following list of quantifiers work with both uncountable and countable nouns. 
the uncountable noun sentence examples will appear first in the list followed by the countable noun sentence examples. We have some food left. Food is considered as an uncountable noun. They have some discounts now. You could also say I have a discount to refer to a single discount. The quantifier sum should always be used with the plural noun and in this case it is discounts. The next quantifier would be any. Did you receive any feedback? Feedback is an uncountable noun. There is no plural form. Are there any toys? Toys is the plural form of the noun toy. Here is another quantifier, a lot of. This gym has a lot of equipment. Note that equipment has no plural form. This is an error that many people make. She has a lot of friends. The plural of friend is friend. Enough is another quantifier that is commonly used. There is enough fuel. Fuel is an uncountable noun. Do we have enough chairs? The next quantifier is plenty of. They had plenty of fun at the event. Fun is considered as an uncountable noun. There are plenty of great spots here. The last quantifier on our list is no. No information was available. No stores were open. Thank you for staying with me till the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, kindly smash that like button. It's a great way to let me know how much you enjoyed the video. This also helps with the YouTube algorithm. Connect with me if you have any questions or want to book a class with me. I would love to hear from you. That's all for today and I'll see you all soon with another great video.